Another major impediment to the flow of remittances reaching the family is the large and exorbitant and illegal cost of recruitment fees that migrants pay, migrant workers pay to labor agents who found them the job. I was in Dubai a few years ago. I visited a camp for workers. It was eight in the evening, dark, hot, humid. Workers were coming back from their grueling day of work, and I struck a conversation with a Bangladeshi construction worker. He was preoccupied that he is sending money home. He has been sending money home for a few months now, and the money is mostly going to the recruitment agent, the labor agent who found him that job. And in my mind, I could picture the wife waiting for the monthly remittance. The remittance arrives, she takes the money, and hands it over to the recruitment agent. While the children are looking on, this has to stop. It is not only construction workers from Bangladesh, it is all the workers. There are millions of migrant workers who suffer from this problem. The construction worker from Bangladesh, on an average, pays about $4,000 in recruitment fees for a job that gives him only $2,000 per year in income. That means that for the two years or three years of his life, he is basically sending money to pay for the recruitment fees. The family doesn't get to see any of it. It is not only Dubai, it is the dark underbelly of every major city in the world. It is not only Bangladeshi construction workers, it is workers from all over the world. It is not only men. Women are especially vulnerable to recruitment malpractices.